This painting you're about to see is painted on many levels and full of events and symbols of Emily Carr's life. It's painted on a book cover, 6 inches by 8 inches. Also in this painting are many sacred native animal symbols and their meaning. It's very much a mystery why the artist would intentionally hide these events. It's what we are about to explore. Some of these events are found in Emily Carr's books, most notably Cleewick and Hundreds and Thousands. Two native elders and myself came away with this interpretation of this painting. So let's begin this journey into this enigmatic and mysterious painting. We'll go to the Cleewick book, Chapter Sophie. Behind the village stood mountains topped by the grand old lion's twin peaks, very white and blue, very white and blue. So we'll start down here, in this area here. With this event here. You have a woman lying down. Here's her hair. Her cheek and her nose. She appears to be looking in this direction, but there's an animal, and it appears to be a lizard, eye, eye, mouth, and the body down to the tail. Now, native animal medicine, lizard means dreaming. So this woman is dreaming. But before we find out who she's dreaming about, let's find out who she is. Here we have a name, small e, m, this i here, rather wide, then you have an l, a swooping l, and a black y, Emily. In here it also says car. This is where it gets a little bizarre. Bear with me. We take the L, make it a C. We take the black Y, we turn it upside down, it becomes an A. Here you have a definite R and a fading R. Emily Carr. Well, we're here, we'll try and find out who this artist is. We take this Y, turn it upside down, you have an A. You have an R. Now this part of the R here, cover it up with a, a card or something, so you can't see it, and you'll have a T. Art, short for Arthur. It also says Lismar. L, back to that I again. In here, there's a 4S, but it's an S. M. E, and an upside-down R, Art Bismarck. Coincidence? I think not. But anyways, let's find out what Emily's dreaming about. Here we have a native face of a man, black hair, forehead, eye here, eye here, down his nose, to his mouth. It appears to be a dream that Emily's having about this man. Could she be seeing a native man? Possible. She loved the natives a lot. Now we go to this figure here. It'll be of a shaman or a medicine man. Top his head. Eye, eye. Down his nose. To his mouth. And his chin. Appears that he's whispering into this native's face, or ear, I should say. What would he be saying? Well, you can draw your own conclusions for that. We'll move along. Now, on this next event here, it would be good if you had a business card or a credit card, something along that line, because there's going to be overlapping of planes in here, and we'll need it to see the other person. But first of all, we'll start off with this baby's face. 
hair, forehead, almost as I do, down its cheek, eye looking up in this direction, the other eye just right here, and its mouth. Now this green brush stroke here, you have to remember, we're going to turn this paint, this baby's face four times, and we'll come up with three other faces. But for now, let's look at this other event here. Take it down this line here. On this side of the baby's face, put the card. Lay the card on the screen. Now here's another man's face. We'll go up around it. Okay, we'll go back to his eye. Eye. It's yellow lines covering the other eye. We'll go up to this rather large ear. And down to a shadow cheek. And the other cheek has light on it. Now look at his mouth. It appears that he's blowing. Take the card away. You should be able to see the overlapping of planes. It appears this man is blowing onto this child. Now we'll go to the top of this man's head here. Here we have an animal. Top of his head. Eye, eye, nose, mouth. Looking right at us. Now it appears to be a weasel. Weasel medicine, the power of observation, I see beneath the surface of a situation. Well, you can draw your own conclusions to what this event means. So we'll move along. to this animal here. It looks like an elk, face, nose, and it's, these will be bushes, and it seems to just coming out of the bushes. There's a, an antler over here, and a larger antler over here. Now we'll turn this elk four times and come up with four different events that flow together. Elk medicine, stamina, and endurance. So now, we'll turn the picture 45 degrees. And we'll go back to this elk antler. It's right here. It'd be a man's face, native face. This is his face here. Eye, eye, down his nose, to his mouth. Looks like he's very sad or very angry. And this is his hair back here. Let's see what's going on here. We'll travel down his arm. Now remember the lizard and the woman laying on the log? And the names? Well, this is it here. This is in his arm. Now in Ojibwe, this appears to be his hand cut off. So Ojibwe, this means do not touch. So let's move along. Now this antler seems, and these figures here seem to be going towards him. It could be the spiritual world that he's looking for some help, some guidance. Now this would appear to be his chest area. Now we're going to move in on this. Very interesting. this face here. Be a woman. It's a hard one to see. Remember the brush stroke and the baby's eye? But now it's in the eye of another woman. 
hair, forehead, eye, looking in this direction. Now this seems to me to be a hand covering her mouth. It looks like an angry face. Is she holding back angry words? What's she looking at? What is this object here? Well, let's just back up and see. Here. There's the object. It looks like a priest. This is his face. This is his arm. And he's holding this object up. To me, I think this is C for car. But that's open for interpretation. This would be his long white gown. We'll zoom in a little bit. Oops, pardon me. There we are. This appears to be a fish. Maybe a salmon swimming upstream. Salmon medicine is a sacred keeper of wisdom and inner knowing. Well, that will go with the priest. So let's just return to that face again. There it is there again. But there's just three. And what does it mean? Well, it comes out of that native's face that came with a dream coming out of the water. It goes through the shaman. It goes through this woman's face and back into the baby if you write of the picture. What does three mean? This native man, this woman, and a baby? You can draw your own conclusions. Now, we're going to enter into this area here. It has a lot of activity. Now we'll turn it 45 degrees upside down now. Here's that elk antler again. Now here appears to be a man's face. Forehead. Eye. Eye. His cheeks. Mouth. And appears to have a beard. Now this antler takes on a different meaning. It looks like a root. Is this man rooting around in somebody else's affair? Or could this mean root of evil? And this yellow coming from his eyes represents anger. We'll follow the yellow along to this event here. Let's see what's going on. Let's zoom in on it. Now here we have another woman's face. This is another overlapping of planes. And it's the same overlapping planes as the baby, the man blowing on the baby, and the weasel on his head. So this is very, very difficult to do. I've asked many artists. Here we have a woman's face. Hair. Forehead. Eye. Eye. And her ear. Cheek. It looks 